Hey everybody, welcome back to episode, I think this is going to be three of the arcade. Alright, so we're on the arcade server playing some arc. Today, I'm super excited. Okay, today we're going to be taming one of the coolest animals ever, the dung beetle. Now, I myself did not see the use of these little babies until recently. Okay, these guys are amazing. Alright, they turn dung poop into fertilizer, and it only takes like 15 minutes. Oh god, god dang it. Come on. I wish you'd get an entrance into the base, uh, or up onto the roof from the ground level. Excellent, okay. So, it only takes like 15 minutes and Broadwing here poops a ton. And I have like 100 stem bears. Like, uh, let's see, how much poop do I have? I got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five poops, five poops. That's a lot. Okay, that is a lot. Make no mistake, that is a ton. So, we're gonna be taming a dung beetle, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fly over there, and in addition to getting a dung beetle, I'm gonna go over what today we're going to do. So, in the last video, you might have noticed I have a lot of plant species X. I went ahead and I grabbed those on a pteranodon, just, you know, while I was flying about, because I figured it was going to be very important, and I mean it is. This is a PvP server, and as soon as it's opened up, there's going to be hopefully a lot of people on it, eh, and they're going to be raided. Now, I like I said, this is a PvP server. I intend to be raided, and I expect to raid a lot of people, and I'm hoping to make some cool videos out of raiding people and some base defense. I won't always be able to capture that on camera just because... Uh, my capture card is plugged into my laptop and not my actual computer, so I don't always have my capture card hooked up, and so I kind of have to, you know, plan and if I'm going to be recording. And it's kind of a hassle to set my laptop up. Cause it's Alright guys, we're coming up on the cave, and we're getting ready to enter. Now, if I can find the cave, we're going to be ready. So, uh, went down. I didn't show you the base, but I actually plopped down a bunch of refining forges, emptied out uh, Broadwing's inventory, so that that way, if he does actually die, which he's not going to, but just in case, we don't lose everything, like our assault rifle, you know, all that stuff, because it's a nice assault rifle. Let's see if we can find this cave. We pump some uh, levels onto the direwolf. Uh, but I expect he's going to get a lot more here soon. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, cave, cave, cave. Where's this cave? I feel like, I feel like it swaps positions. Like, is, are the arc devs like, <laughs> you know what would really mess with players? What if we got a cave that moved every time they left render distance? That actually be kind of like a neat idea, like what if there's like some kind of sh cave that had like, you know, seismic activity, made it shift or something, so like, there were like six locations here on the map and like, sometimes it'd be open and stuff, but like, it'd have super high level loot. I don't know, I think that'd be kind of neat. Oh my god, seriously, of all the... for there to be an alpha raptor. This is it. I don't know if we'll be able to kill it. I don't want to get the dire wolf Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. He's getting kind of low. And we'll get some nice loot for doing this. Come on, he's doing a bit of damage now. Mm. 
Well. Alright, so we cleared him out. Did we get anything good for that? Let's see. Nothing good. Alright, nothing new, I should say. Alright, cause... You know, but, you know, that kind of means nothing good, because you took everything good out of his inventory, except for 92 crystal, which I just forgot about. Alright. So. You're on... Nope, you're on neutral. You're on neutral. I'm gonna whistle you on neutral, too. Alright, so we're coming in here... I see that Arthur Puera. You can't fool me. Wow, that kite that oh my god. It chewed through that durability. I just want to find a donkey. That's all I want. Alright, so somehow he's like wrecking us. Okay, so. No fiber. So we're going to come up here and get some fiber because hide armor's trash, but it's better than nothing. And that's what we have right now. <laughs> There's trees and stuff up here. Why are there no harvestable plants? Come on, I just want one harvestable plant. That's it. Oh, we got explore nuts. Alright, so we're gonna come over here, we're gonna do health. We're gonna do weight. We're gonna do melee damage. We're gonna do stamina, more health. Mm. Perfect. Okay. Did that give us anything? Nope. Can we go find a different harvestable plant? Man, I would love to tame a Rex. That's a neat looking Rex though. What is up with this? Something's going down. Like, it's registering the hits. You see that? Okay, I feel like any second now. We're going to be either A, kicked, or we're going to jump backwards a lot. Neither one is good. Coming in. Come on, render in. No. Alright guys, this is intense. I'll I'll be right back. Uh once we get to the artifact or a dung beetle.
I'm not too crazy. Okay, guys, we found ourselves a dung beetle. He's on level 8, so we should be good. Gotcha. He should be safe. Totally safe. Got him. Okay. We're high sailing that out of here, guys. Alright. Alright, guys. We're back. And I think this is kind of going to be it. I went ahead and I got this dung beetle. It's pretty good. I leveled it up a bit. Let's see. He's level 43 now. He's got some poop on him. He's wandering. Uh, you know, that's. So, I'll do a quick rundown on how you get a dung beetle to make fertilizer. First, I recommend you put him in an enclosed location. You're loading up with poop, and the convert uh, rate is one poop every 15 minutes. But there's a couple little, not exports, but I mean like rules. So he converts one poop of every type every 15 minutes. So you can load him up with a large poop, a medium poop, and two small poops. And if you have any like the massive Titan poops or whatever. And every 15 minutes, he'll convert each one of those into fertilizer. And I think a large is two fertilizer, two small equals one, and one medium is one fertilizer. I don't know how many uh, massive one does, but I, I know it's a lot. So, you notice a couple other tames. This is because I actually got super sidetracked and really distracted and recorded an entire another episode before I'm doing the conclusion of this one. So got a dung beetle I will go ahead and I'll just uh just get this guy's really slow I'll show you uh our little setup for the turrets uh I'm pretty pleased with the way they're looking each one has like a hundred at least a hundred and fifty thousand fertilizer so that's a really good point about fertilizer uh medium poop is worth 7,500 fertilizer points. You don't know what some of these other structures are, but uh, you'll find out next episode. Uh, this is our little setup. We got irrigation. Every single one of these is irrigated. This one has uh, 150,000, 200,000. So, you know, you can kind of see there's a lot. Uh, I still, oh, I, I have some fertilizer. So. Yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like dung beetles, like the channel. If you liked any part of the video, drop a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see more awesome art content. And don't forget, I will be putting the server up uh, this weekend. I mean, it's up every day. It will be up every day. That's my goal. Uh, but I will be releasing the server information and how you can join this weekend so stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time